People in one neighborhood are returning to their homes today for the first time in a week. Good evening, I'm Connor Board. And I'm Mike Black. Neighbors have been getting around by boat, and this is the first time the water's low enough for them to drive. Renata Di Gregorio joins us from River Loop Road in Lacey Spring. Renata, what's it like out there right now? Mike Connor, just in the past couple minutes of standing here, an ATV has come through this water. You can see there's a truck there now. Another truck with a canoe in the back has turned around, and there are two people paddling in a kayak right over here. Now, earlier today, I and some Red Cross people who were here as well didn't feel comfortable going through this water, but it hasn't stopped some of the people with big trucks who live there and haven't been in or out of their neighborhood driving in a week. Pat Meadwell fled her home last Thursday when the water levels kept rising and her kids told her to get out. It's really stressful. You know, you miss being home. That's just the thing about it. And you worry about what's happened to your home while you're away and how much it's going to cost you to get it back the way you want it to be. Now, one week later, the flooding is finally low enough she can get back home. But some of her neighbors never left. He literally cruised across the neighborhood in his kayak uh, just to go get food, you know, comfort items and food items and stuff like that for his family. And they would pick him up and take him wherever they needed, and that's kind of how, that's, that's the great thing about this place. I'll have a good one. Hey, you too. Be safe. Morgan County's Red Cross Disaster Action Team is posting up in public places to hand out necessary items. Soaps, shampoos. Madewell says there's no damage inside her home, and the Red Cross workers hope that's the case for more people. But there's still a lot to clean up. Once the water recedes, we'll have um, anything from rakes to shovels, work gloves, cleanup supplies. Until then, they're just glad to be home. Relieved. I feel relieved that I've seen that my house is still standing. <laughs> At night with the moon, it's like gold shining on the river. So it's beautiful. It makes it worth it. The Red Cross workers tell me they will continue to be around the area. You can find the contact info for them on rocketcitynow.com and, of course, the Rocket City Now app. Reporting live in Morgan County, Renata Gregorio, WZDX News.